I believe it. You bought the DVD. You bought 20 years and still standing. So obviously I must have been funny or you felt sorry for my kids in Ethiopia. Either way, you got the DVD. And now it gives me the great opportunity to be in your house and tell the jokes to your friends that you tried to tell that you messed up or when you told them they looked at you like, that ain't really funny. But anyway, I've been doing comedy for over 22 years now. But I thought I would call it 20 years because it sounds better 20 years and still standing instead of 22 years and still standing. Either way, I've been doing comedy a very, very long time. And to prove to you that I've been doing comedy a very, very, very long time, I would like to show you my first stand-up performance, September 24th, 1987. And I guarantee you, after you see this, you would have never bought that CD or DVD or you would have never bought it back then. 8-track, whatever, you wouldn't have bought it. So check it out. This is Roddy Johnson, first stand-up, Irving, Texas, the Minority Actors Guild, first annual, and I think that was their last show, Irving, Texas, 1987, Roddy Johnson. Check it out. I give it, I give it to you. Good evening. I'm a B.C. I'm from the G-A-T-T-T-O of Baltimore, Maryland. And that means I'm a black comedian from the ghettos of Baltimore, Maryland. But we don't call it ghetto no more. The mayor decided to build a building and put all 10,000 of us in it. He called it a project. <laughs> but we got together, put our heads together, and changed the name to inner city condominiums. White people moved in. Property value rose up. And now we have projects. It's a whole lot of projects. In my neighborhood, crime is real bad. Crime is so bad, the police can't do it all. So we got these people called guardian angels. And these people dress up like little Rambos and jump out of the buildings and say stuff like Bruce Lee. Seriously, seriously, though. Because look, seriously, I see this brother still holding a purse and the dude jumped out there. Lock. What do you, what do you think you're wrong with that person? <laughs> the brother said, who the hell are you? I'm the guardian angel. Now you're a real angel. <laughs> Seriously, because if you don't know a person's name in my neighborhood, you'd even die or go to jail. It'd be like James Arthur Johnson getting five to ten. You'd be like, who's that daddy? That's your brother. <laughs> Seriously, because in my neighborhood, my name is Can't Go Maker. Can't go to school. Can't find no job. It's your making makers. <laughs> Everybody had a nickname. My best friend looked like the evening sun fell on his face. We called him Dusty. His brother looked like an old nail. We called him Rusty. His sister was a BOF, a big old freak. We called her Lusty. She had one of my kids, he was like strong on his arms, so we called him Little Musty. Seriously though, times have changed, and with times changing, so has uh, you know, religion. Religion has changed a lot too. Religion not like it used to be. Seriously, you got people on TV like old robbers, even like brothers and sisters, the Lord has called me home if I don't get $8 million. White people sent in $16 million. They told him to stay around another week. He couldn't have did that with no black church. Because he'd been like, look, I need $8 million. Brothers would be like, look, home, you ain't getting no $8 million. Hey, if you're going to die next week, you better go and take this five and go to the funeral home now. <laughs> you ain't, I don't, look, man, I don't care about no TV. I'll sit home and watch the reruns. <laughs> A lot of things have changed. You know, sex has changed too. Sex has changed a lot too. Because uh, I was just reading the news about Jim Baker. Jim Baker, they said, Jim, look, did you go to bed with it? Jim was like, nah, man, look. I didn't go to bed. Look, man, look. Just leave me alone. God, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> nah, I didn't go to bed with it. Leave, just leave me alone. But they asked Gary Hart. He just answered the question like a black man. Said, Mr. Hart, Mr. Uh, Hart did you go to bed with it? Yeah, I went to bed with it. Shoot, uh, three, four times, man. I did it in the limo. I did it on the boat, and I did it in the house. That's three times, Mr. Hart. I was going to do it in the White House. Y'all didn't let me get in. <laughs> she, they asked Ron and Reagan, you know, and we were like, what's next, Ron? Her cat and the family bonds up. Ron was like, oh, well, I, uh, well, I, Nancy was there crying. But you never told me, Ron. Well, I, uh, <laughs> well, I don't remember. Seriously, men don't ask for sex like they used to. Men used to ask for sex, like, look, baby, I want some sex. Now 
then they like, look, baby, um, look, can I get some, like, okay, it's like a peach, baby, like an avocado, okay, um, like, uh, look, like vanilla pudding, can I just get this a little bit, okay, 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 forget it, I, look, and then women be like, okay, you want to use something about long as my finger and why is my pinky? Men be like, no, nah, baby, I want something about bigger than banana and have grapefruit to it. Then women get scared. They be like, well, like, it's, um, okay, it's like my, okay, like once a month, my, my turn? Okay, what's wrong, baby? The stream overflowing? Nah, okay, it's like, um, I'm on my menstrual cycle. That's okay, baby, I'm on my heart, no problem. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, that's how things are today, you know? Shoot. <laughs> People don't ask for sex. Whatever you do, just don't go to the YMCA. That's where young men catch AIDS. Just stay far away from them. I used, to, I used to be real bad when I was a kid. I used to be real bad. And my father used to always come home and ask me questions. He'd be like, you got to keep out of school today? He'd be like, yeah. What's wrong with you? You think you're bad or something? Then I'd be Michael Jackson. You know it, you know, you know it, you know who's bad. I'm bad. You know it, you know, you know it. Show me, show me. By the time I was a senior in high school, I was like Ali, I was like punch drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Johnson's graduated to enter the class. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Hello. Would the school nurse come get Mr. Johnson off the stage, please? That's all right, babe. I'm going on and fly. <laughs> <laughs>